You're live. Hey there, everybody. Billy Penn here, the Penalizer, down in Austin, Texas at the Amp Show, and I'm standing here with Gerald Weber of Kendrick Amplifiers, and he's going to tell you all about his amps and his guitars. Take them through him, Gerald. Well, you know, we have different amps used for different things, depending on uh, what um, uh, needs uh, the musician may have. Uh, one of our most popular amps right now is the smaller amp uh, in back of me. It's called the Solo 7. The Solo 7 is a 7 watt amp with lots of features. It has a voicing switch that can change from a, a Marshall to an Ampeg to a Fender voicing. It has a Texas T control that will layer a tweed sound on top of what voice you already chose. It has the volume, treble, bass, and reverb knobs. But in the back, there's an attenuator. And I don't know if we can see this, but uh, there's an attenuator that you can turn your speaker down, turn the amp up and get it sounding the best, and turn the speaker down so it's loud enough for the room, or not too loud for the room. And there's also a headphone jack. When you plug in the headphone jack, it disconnects the speaker, and you, and you can play at 2 o'clock in the morning without anybody in the house knowing that you're playing. It has the Kendrick Green Frame 12-inch speaker, and it's a tube spring reverb, which is the classic Hammond-style reverb that are found on uh, many uh, popular amps, including uh, Fender amps. Um, if you'll notice, the cabinet is, the wood seems a little thinner than most uh, cabinets. That's because we plane it down to a half inch um, for two reasons. One is we were going for a real resonant cabinet, but also since it's a small amp, it doesn't weigh very much. So you don't need a thick, heavy cabinet to support um, the um, chassis and, and uh, um, speaker. This amp has a 7 watts output. It uses a 12BH7 output tube, which is a twin triode. It's running push-pull class AB. The Class AB, in my opinion, is far superior to a Class A single-ended practice amp because on a Class A um, single-ended amp, you can't really overdrive the output stage. If you drive it into Class AB, it's going to sound bad. But with an AB push-pull, as you overdrive it into Class AB, you have a very smooth waveform both at the top of the wave and the bottom, and you get that real violin cello type of sound that everybody loves to listen to. You never get tired of listening to it because it's just, it's just sweet like a, uh, like a violin or like a cello. Um, now we have other features here. I, one that I didn't mention is there's an extra tube socket on the back and if you want to you can plug another tube in without having to make any adjustments or turn any switches of any kind and it'll change from a 7 watt amp into a 14 watt amp which would make it loud enough to do small club gigs, particularly if, if you um, have a mic set up with a PA. You can mic that. It's also very portable because since it only weighs 22 pounds, the average guitar in a case weighs about 22 pounds. So that way when you walk into the gig, you're not unbalanced. You've got 22 pounds on each <laughs> side. So that's the Solo 7. Now, another one of our popular amps, and this, this amp, uh, we've had for a few years now, and this has just been a runaway bestseller. This is our K-Spot amplifier, and of course it's called K-Spot for obvious reasons. There's a spot on the front. What is that? Oh, it's a K! <laughs> but it's not just a K-Spot. It's actually a beam blocker. It sits right in front of the center of the 12-inch speaker so that when the highs come out of the center of the speaker, they bounce off of the K and diffuse, and uh, that way uh, the people sitting on the side of the amp can hear high end as well as the people standing in front of the amp. This is a uh, one channel amp, but it has four inputs that are all voiced differently. So you can plug into each different input and get a different uh, amount of gain or amount of um, uh, high end. Uh, they're numbered one, two, three, and four. And uh, number one, of course, is full, full strength. Number two, you have a little less gain. Number three um, is full strength with a little less high end. And number four is little less gain and a little less high end also. This has uh, just a simple volume treble bass um, tone uh, controls. And there's also a three knob reverb control, which uh, is situated in a sub chassis. The reason we put this in a sub chassis here there's a sub chassis with the uh, three knobs on it. Uh, we put that on there 
so that uh, we could make the amp lightweight and small. If we had tried to put it all on one chassis, we would have had a big chassis and the cabinet would have had to have been bigger. By having two chassis, we can make this smaller cabinet and uh, the whole amp only weighs 40 pounds. So what you'd have to do is get two guitars in your left hand and, uh, and pick up this amp with a four pound uh, dumbbell and then that way you can walk in balanced. <laughs> Um, a lot of people had this amp, and of course they, they love the amp, uh, but some, some players wanted us to make something with a 15 in it. And um, so what we did is we took the same amp, made it bigger, put a 15 in it, but since it's a bigger speaker, we want to have a little bit more power, and we changed the output stage to some E34Ls, which is a military grade EL34. The amp has all the same circuitry though as far as the reverb and the, the four inputs that are voiced differently and the volume treble bass uh, controls on the top. Um, and it has the beam blocker on the front also the K. This is called a K15. Now this amp was recently reviewed by Guitar Player Magazine and they did give it the Editor's Pick Award which is kind of a milestone for Kendrick because even though we've been building amps for 20 years and we've gotten very very good reviews at times We've never actually gotten an editor's pick award, so it's for us it's a, a milestone to receive such a coveted award.